based purely on the second part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, The Two Towers actually draws on the stories, locations and characters from the first two films, or books depending on how you look at it. The play spans the story of the first two films and is based around some of the most awesome movie sequences ever created. Every detail imaginable has been crammed in to closely match Middle Earth's most dramatic set pieces. <laughs> Each of the three playable characters has specific weapons as portrayed in the films. Aragorn uses his sword and has his bow as a ranged weapon. For days we followed their trail. Finally, it Legolas led us primarily to find uses his bow but has elven fighting knives for melee combat. This forest is old. Gimli uses his two-bladed dwarven axe and also has throwing axes for ranged opportunities. Like the films, the game is focused on a third-person action adventure experience and features dramatic camera views of the action within fully 3D interactive environments taken straight from the big screen. The G-Style system also allows you to develop each character by purchasing new moves, basic combo attacks and more complex killing sequences. And the system works well by encouraging players to be strategic with their selection of characters, weaponry and moves. You have to admire the technical feat achieved here. Dozens of characters on screen at once in some highly detailed environments. Unfortunately, the overall play does degenerate into mindless button bashing at times, with a wave of battling monsters followed by another, and another, and another. <laughs> But the inclusion of boss character levels works well in saving it from the brink of tedium. Quite simply, it's a quality hack and slash through and through. It's what we expected, and it's what the fans wanted.